Hi guys, John Takey here and today we're going to test the God of War Ragnarok on our Legion Go. So as you may know, uh, God of War Ragnarok has been released on Steam. Then, um, yeah, uh, we're going to test it now with our default settings. As you can see, if we go to the settings, graphics, if we press Y, A, you can see uh, it's set to medium and the scaling is also on native mode on the default settings as you can see here we're having a 30-ish 40-ish uh, fps so this area here is my testing um, scene uh, that here it drops down to 28 29 so let me show you the optimized setting so that you can have a high frame rates um, first you go to your settings of course on graphics now uh, you have to set the quality preset to low then this uh, scaling method to fsr3 and go to quality so from here you can have uh, more higher frame rates like 60 here you can see the graphics is really smooth sometimes it drops down to 50 ish but it never goes down to 40 or 30 fps but if you want to exceed your fps more than 60 you can al always um turn on the frame gen there you go from here you can see you can go up to 100 fps the graphics is still um not bit chunky still smooth yeah you can see so the best thing that i do here is i use a um, lossless scaling app it's from uh steam let me open this too very quick open lossless scaling this is a paid app you can get this on steam i think um more than uh, two dollars maybe so what i do is i just uh, make sure you turn off the frame gen here because we already have the frame gen on on our god of war so just uh, make sure your amd fsr is uh, set here and sharpness on full but before that go to your settings and um, here on display mode just uh, choose window mode there once you choose that you can click on scale on the scaling and go back to the game as you can see here we have a more sharper image not a bit blurry and you can still have 100 fps going to 90 yeah i think this is the best settings you can have for the god of war ragnarok so now let's uh proceed to the um gpdg1 uh, external gpu so that you can see the difference of the uh, settings that we have all right so here we have our gpdg1 uh, external gpu connected so as you can see um here we have a 70 fps going to 60. if we check our settings i believe this is set on default yeah uh native medium and of course our resolution is 800p so we could try to up the uh, preset to high here we're having a uh, lower fps around 40 ish but of course if we optimize our settings like um doing a fsr3 but let's allow it on native mode 
here we are having a 50 ish still 40 so if we change it to quality again our uh, graphics preset is high uh, we are still having a 50 ish there's no much of a difference but of course if you uh, on your frame gen there now we're having i think it goes 100 yeah 100 fps so this works best on a uh, external monitor because we could exceed the uh, resolution up to let's see around 1080 So on 1080, we're still having a 70-ish FPS. You can see our image is more uh, smoother, it's more sharper. And we could still try up to uh, 1200p. There, we have 60, 70. I think this is the best uh, resolution we can have here, especially if you're connected to an external monitor. So GPT G1 or any external GPU really um, extend the performance of the game, especially with the image quality. You can have a more sharper, more high resolution, and of course, a high frame rates. But yeah, uh, of course you can still use the default uh, graphics of the Legion Go without the uh, external GPU. Still uh, play best, especially with the 800p resolution and low settings. Of course, if you want to um, sharper the image, you can use a third-party app like the lossless scaling. So yeah, a very optimized game. I highly recommend it. It's uh, unfortunately it's not available on the Philippines region, so you have to find another source for it to have it free. <laughs> but anyways, um, thank you very much for dropping by again. This is John Techie. See you again to the next video, and God bless everyone.